Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make these baby penny pens. It's uh, to make the set with the sweater and little jacket that I did before this video. I have a few petitions asking if I can make a pair of pants to match the set and here is the pair of pants. They are very easy to make. I don't know exactly for what age these um, pair of pants will be. If any of you make exactly the same size that I did and can let me know um, if you have a baby and uh, it fits, let me know the age group that will I will post it here and let people know exactly for what size baby these penny pants will be because I don't have a baby to try it on. So I think it will be around four to seven months maybe. I don't know. Uh, if you like to make uh, the top, if you just got to my channel and you don't have made the top. I already had the video and had to make those two pieces, and they're very easy to make all of them. And here is the video and how to make these baby pants. To make these baby pants, the yarn I'm gonna use is Bernard Little Totes. It's uh, all blue the color and it's medium four. And um, this one is 100 gram, and I go to work with a 5 millimeter crochet hook, and I'm gonna work with a 4 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, let's start making our little baby pants. Here I wanted to show you we had to make two pieces like this one for the little uh, pair of pants, and it have uh, like a booty in the bottom. That way, uh, the feet are nice and warm. It's one piece. And we're gonna make two like this one, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the opening because here's the opening uh, for one side and the other one to be in the other side, you know, the two front part uh, together. And then we'll sew it through here, and it's a little bit short here, but after I sew them together, the two piece, I will do another, um, I will crochet another. Uh, piece here and then we'll pass uh, a chain to um, secure and uh, the piece together but it's very easy and very fast to make okay uh, I'm gonna start here in the front of the little it's like a booty in the front is where we're gonna start and what we're gonna do is a magic circle I'm gonna chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm gonna do 12 double crochet, and this chain three counts as the first double crochet. So I'm gonna do 12 double crochet in my magic circle. So I'll meet you here when I have my 12 double crochet. Here I have my 12 double crochet. Now I'm gonna pull the tail really tight. And I'm gonna do a slip stitch and the third chain on the top. And like that, you finish row number one, and it's the tip on here. Now we're gonna chain three one, two, and three. Do a double crochet in the first double crochet. Do one double crochet in the next one. Two together, one separate, two together, like that you're going to do all the way around, two together and one separate, until you do in the last double crochet, no in the slip stitch but in the double crochet, and you're going to end with 18 double crochet. So I'll meet you here when I finish my 18 double crochet and that's row number two. Here I have my 18 double crochet. I'm gonna do a slip stitch on top of my the third chain, top of the chain there. And gonna chain three, one, two, and three and look it start already to take four because we don't did two double crochet in every space. We did two and one, two and one. 
and that way it's no get flat. Now we're going to do one double crochet on top of each double crochet and we're going to repeat that twice for a total of four row. That's what I did here. One, two, three and four row for the tip of the... Like it's like a booty. Let's start like a booty. So we're going to chain three and do one double crochet on top of each double crochet. You're going to finish those 18 double crochet with a slip stitch. You're going to chain 3 and do again those 18 double crochet. So I'll meet you here at the end of row number 4. Here I finish row number 4. I, I'm going to end with the piece like this. And then I'm going to chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to do 12 double crochet and this chain 3 counts as the first double crochet. So we're going to do 12, that's 2, 3, 4, I'm going to continue off camera and I will meet you here when I finish my 12 and you'll have 6, double, six space here open on the front. Here I have my 12 double crochet, you're going to end with a piece like this and now we're going to chain 3, 1, 2 and 3, turn your work around and you're going to repeat those 12 double crochet and then when you finish with those 12 double crochet you're going to chain 3 and repeat those 12 double crochet we're going to end with 3 rows of these 12 double crochet so I'll meet you here at the end when I have my 12 my 3 row of 12 now I'm going to lose the tail here in the inside that way I don't have to come back later and lose the tails and remember you have to do two of these pieces it's, uh, for the right and the left foot and I'm gonna let you know when you're gonna do the the increases and the increases are in the inside so for one will be in one side and for the other one in the other side okay this one in front of me will, was in the right side and then when I put the other one in front of me, it will be in the left side. That way it's on the middle, the increase. And the outside is the, the same. So I'm going to lose the tail and I will continue. I already lose the tail and you're going to end with three, uh, the three row. And you're going to end with a piece like this. You're going to open it up and put it inside out. And you're going to come here to the end, here, to the top of that chain 3, and you're going to do a slip stitch, sorry, passing through this one here, and this one here. You're going to do a slip stitch. And you're going to slip stitch, making sure that you are passing through both ends, like this. Finish here chain one, turn my work around and now I'm going to slip stitch but only in one strand because we don't need to slip stitch on both just to go up just like this And I will be working in this row here, the first first row are the pins. Here I finish, you're going to flip the outside facing out. And now you see this will be is in the back and you have to bring it here to the middle. And for that you're going to do a slip stitch right into the middle here. You're going to do a slip stitch and it's perfect center. For mine here, I did 23 double crochet, but you can do 23, 24, how many um, you can fit uh, here all the way around and space them at the same distance. Um, these don't have to be uh, even number, so for mine was 23 and now you have to do 23 for this one. And make sure that you do your 
stitch inside the stitch here on the border not the little hole here because otherwise that hole will be too big inside the chains here so I'll meet you here when I have my 23 double crochet here I'm gonna finish with a slip stitch on the top of the third chain and I'm gonna chain um, 3, 1, 2 and 3 and I'm gonna do 4 double crochet and this chain 3 is the first one and these are separate double crochet 1 2 3 and 4 double crochet and 2 together 1 and 2 we do again 4 double crochet 1 2 3 and 4 double crochet separate and two together. You're gonna do this all the way around. Here is my last two double crochet together and I'm gonna have three double crochet separate. That is because I had 23. If I had 24 I will have four double crochet. So if you did 24, you will have 4 in here. I'm going to do my slip stitch on the top of the third chain. And in this row, you see, I start already going wider to go up uh, the little pants. You're going to chain 3. And now you're going to do 1 double crochet on top of each double crochet. And if you count, from the front here, this will be row number 10, the one we are doing. 7 here, A9, and this one number 10. And then you're going to do 10, 11, 12, and 13, one double crochet and top of each double crochet. So I'll meet you here when I have my full row. A uh, one double crochet on top of each double crochet. That will be row 10, 11, 12, and 13. Here I finish row number 13. And now for row 14, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And you're going to do four double crochet separate and two together. That's one, two, three and four and two together and like that you're gonna do this row number 14 two um, four separate and two together so I'll meet you here at the end of this row one two three and four and now two together I finished row number 14 and now 15 and 16 will be uh, one double crochet on top of each double crochet. So I will meet you here at the end. For those two rows, 15, 16, one double crochet on top of each double crochet. Here I finished row number 16 and now row number 17 is the one that's going to define which side uh, the leg will be for the right or the left and remember I'm doing the increase only in the inside for this one that is in my left hand I chain when I finish row 16 for 17 I chain 3 and I did 7 double crochet separate the, after the 7 double crochet I did 2 together and then I did 1 double crochet and 2 together and the rest I did one double crochet and top of each double crochet. That was row number 17. For row 18, I did seven double crochet, two together, 
two separate in the middle and two together and the rest double crochet and like that I continue all the way into row number 21 that was that is here from the tip to here are 21 row now I'm going to show you how to work in this side just for one row now from there you will continue because I already have that one I need to make for the other side so for this one you're going to chain 3 1, 2 and 3 do 7 double crochet that's 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 in number 8 you're going to do 2 together and number 9 you're going to do 1 double crochet and in number 10 2 together and then you're going to continue one double crochet and top of each double crochet until you finish here with a slip stitch you're going to chain three do your uh, double crochet until you get to the one beside the increase you're going to increase again there two separate and increase in here again that is two together and you're going to continue doing those two together all the way until you have five double crochet in between each increase you see you will have five in here here we have one and we have to have five and then you're gonna do a slip stitch chain one and cut your yarn and then we will be working in the top part here okay we'll finish here and then we'll work in this one so now I'm going to show you how to work the other side that is the one that I need to do for my pants. now for this one you're going to chain three this is row number 17 for the other side I count 10 double crochet and I put a marker you can put any marker there a piece of yarn or a safety pin or a body pin or nothing you just when you get close you just count 10 and it's when you start you increase but I marker there that way it's easier for me so I'm going to do one double crochet and top of each double crochet until I get to the one beside the marker I remove my marker and there I'm gonna do two together one separate and two together now I'm gonna do seven double crochet so I'll meet you here at the end of this row for this row you're gonna chain three you're gonna do one double crochet on top of each double crochet until you get to this first increase and you're gonna do another increase in there you will do two double crochet separate and another increase and the rest double crochet you're gonna finish that row with a slip stitch chain three and in the next row you will do double crochet until you get to the increase do another increase and you'll do three separate one increase and double crochet in the other row you'll have four separate and then the other one five that will be the amount that you need in here five uh, separate double crochet or 21 row so I'll meet you here when I have my 21 row I'm gonna do a slip stitch uh, chain one cut my yarn and then we start working the top I finish row number 21 I'm gonna cut my yarn now and chain one cut my yarn because we're going to be working in here no here and here this is where we're going to start working now to do this part it's a little bit tricky because you have to pay attention to my explanation to do this one this one I'm going to show you how to do it but this one is the one that I already made 
that is in my left hand you're going to come here in between the two uh, increase you're going to have five double crochet but on top of the five double crochet if you count you're going to have six chain space and then what we're going to do is lift the two in the middle without working and then we'll have two in this side and two in this one what you're going to do is come to this increase and count one and two backwards a space and in that one there you're going to chain three and you're going to work one double crochet on top of each double crochet even in the increase we don't want to increase no more okay and then if you look here here is my increase and in here will be one and two and top of the increase another one you see and then these are the ones that I didn't work and you're gonna come and finish here leaving two chain space open okay and then what you do when you get into here you're gonna chain three and come back and work your uh, one double crochet on top of each double crochet and chain three and come back and you're gonna do six row I have six row and uh, this one here let me explain you one more time you see this one is the front and my left hand but if I turn around it's my right side okay but it's on the front that you're gonna be working in this one in one of them so leaving two chain space without working you're gonna in between the two increase you see here is one and here is another that the increase and this is the other and you have your five double crochet and on top you have six chain space leaving these two in between and two and two double crochet okay so I'm going to show you in this one is the other way around this one will work start from the front here the front and this one will be here on the back these two here and then you see we start through the back that's the way to have them both facing the right way okay so I'm going to show you how to do this one now but remember is in between the increase now to do this one you're gonna find the two increase and then we're gonna be working in the one that is closest to uh, the back and that one here and when I count one two and in this one here I'm gonna pass my jar with a slip stitch I'm going to count that one and I'm going to do three chains one two and three now we're going to do one double crochet on top of each double crochet and I'm going to lose my the tail at the same time and here is the increase but we're going to do only one double crochet there I'm going to place the marker I'm going to count one and two and in this one and the third one and that will be the last one that we're gonna work and leave those two open so uh, we'll come here chain three and come back and work those uh, double crochet for six row but anyway I will show you here one more time and then you continue by yourself here I just remove the marker and I'm gonna do my last double crochet and here is the two uh, separate that I don't want to work and if you look in the row before you will have your increase and two double crochet the increase and two double crochet and now we're going to chain three one two and three turn my work around and I'm going to do one double crochet and top of each double crochet for six row in total these two plus four more and then we're going to be sewing remember to leave in one of the pieces the tail long enough for sewing I already left the tail in this one so in this one I don't need to leave a tail so I meet you here when I finish and it's time to sew them together here I finish this one and look if I put one in front of each other they are exactly in the right place 
So now I'm gonna chain one, cut my yarn, and sew them together. Now we're gonna sew the two pieces together. I have my yarn through my needle, and I'm gonna come here to the top of this one. You see, I have the two pieces like that. And I'm gonna come here to the top of that chain three, pass it through. I'm gonna pass it one more time through both of them. And now I'm gonna sew in a zigzag machine every stitch to every stitch because we have the same amount on both sides, so it will be easy. And then we're gonna sew in a zigzag all the way around, all the way here in the bottom here, and in the back. And then what we have to do is do one more row here, or two, and then we do a chain for tying this uh, in the waist. So I'll meet you here when I finish sewing. Here I finish that part. And then like this. And now I'm gonna come in the back. I'm gonna do a slip knot. Now I'm gonna do one or two row of double crochet, and then I will do some row of single crochet on the top. I will let you know how many I do. One single crochet on top of each single, double one double crochet on top of top of each double crochet. Um, and then after that I will do some row of single crochet. Because still it's too short from here, it's too short this part of the pins. Here I did two rows of double crochet. And now I'm going to do three of single crochet. If I like it with three, I will leave it like that. If not, I will do some more. But I will let you know. And then I will do a chain to tie around the waist. Well, here on the top, like I said, I did three row of single crochet. And in the middle row, I passed my chain. I don't count how many chain I did. I just did it long enough to wrap it around and do the bow. What I did for my chain, I chained three. I closed the circle and I did 12 uh, double crochet counting on chain 3. I did a slip stitch and I continue with my chain. After I finished with the length of, of the chain, I didn't cut the yarn. I uh, put it through a safety pin and passed through with a safety pin the yarn and the uh, chain at the same time. And when I passed it through the front, I pulled the yarn and I did again another circle making sure that I did the last stitch through the chain that was nice and secure I cut the yarn and I lost the tail and here is the little pins well I hope you guys give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and if it's the first time you come to my channel and you want to make the top piece I have already the video on how to make these two because it's a double set is already on my channel. Well, uh, have a great day. Bye.